Jim, let's switch gears and talk about oil. Goldman made a call thinking the recovery might stall a little bit. What was your thought on that? Goldman likes to make calls. <laughs> I like that thought. Now, I've been saying that we get to 50, uh, from $38, uh, 35 to 30, I've been saying what's going to happen is we're going to get to 50, and that's where a lot of the break evens change. Thank you, RBN, for being my best source on that. At 50, we do get lots of wells that should be, that have been drilled, they can now pump. And that's it. There's a lot of wells that were drilled, but they haven't pumped. And that was what Harold Hamm was signaling when he came on and went, went and just talked his book at Continental Resources saying, listen, we're about to go to the 60s. It literally is self-fulfilling. When you produce that much more oil, it brings the price of oil down. Now, one thing that we have to watch is Venezuela. We've all been waiting for Venezuela to fall off the grid. And I felt that the moment that Schlumberger said they would no longer do business with Venezuela, you were going to see the beginning of a decline. It's happening already. 100,000 barrels taken off the market. Venezuela holds the key to pricing because Nigeria is in an endless battle against terrorists who try to get the, who try to take them offline, it, it just to bankrupt the country and perhaps cause a revolution. But if you look at what's happening in Venezuela, that's the swing more important than the United States, U.S. Very hard to get above 50 because the banks want the the future sold so that these uh, oil companies can bring in cash. Notice, by the way, Ulta trying to get a lifeline here upgraded. Uh, we, we're seeing things like uh, these little guys, like in Canada do well, but that's Nat Gas. Nat Gas holding in there at the 250 level, even though it's been cool. So I have to understand, Nat Gas is, is really separating itself from oil right now. The Nat Gas companies are doing well. At 50, a lot of places that were uh, not break-even become break-even, and you can sell futures to raise cash to pay off Bank of America.